guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. Today's video has been highly requested and it's my top 10 favorite hikes here in this state. If you are new here, welcome to the Hike Oregon channel. I make hiking and backpacking vlogs as well as gear reviews and just general tips and tricks videos to help you become a more confident hiker and backpacker. If you enjoy content like that, click that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every time I make a new video. This video has always been highly requested and it's been so hard for me to pick my top 10 favorite hikes just because it's ever changing. However, I will say the last few years, these ones have stuck on my top 10 list and haven't really wavered much. I did add a new hike to the list just this year, but I think after this year, these are going to be my top 10. Most of them have been on this list for many, many years. So I hope you enjoy the video. Patterson Mountain is located off of Highway 58 between Eugene and Oak Ridge. It is one of my favorite hikes because of the incredibly beautiful forest and the fact that you don't have to work very hard at getting an incredible view. I have been on this trail three times and have never seen another hiker, but I have seen a lot of signs of wildlife. Sawtooth Mountain is located southeast of Oak Ridge near the Diamond Peak Wilderness. This hike is on my favorites list because it is a challenging climb up to the top of Sawtooth and it is a peak that is very rarely talked about. The views from the top are incredible and that's why this hike ended up getting featured in my book, Oregon's Best Views. Bohemia Mountain is located southeast of Cottage Grove. This area has lots of diversity and you can see the old Bohemia mines and little cabins as well as hike to the top of Bohemia Mountain, which on a clear day offers views from Mount Hood down to Mount Shasta and everything in between. As the name suggests, the Diamond Peak Loop circumnavigates Diamond Peak and passes through incredible forests and by some amazing lakes, and it gives you some epic views of my favorite mountain, Diamond Peak. This loop offers solitude, fishing opportunities, and it is relatively easy compared to many backpacking excursions of this length. Irma Bell Lakes Loop is located in the Three Sisters Wilderness, and it is a great destination for easy backpacking. There are multiple length options as well as day hike excursions from camp if you wanted to spend multiple nights in the area. You will see lakes, wildlife, wildflowers in the summertime, and hidden waterfalls. Strawberry Mountain is located south of John Day. This hike is on my top 10 list because of the beauty of this eastern Oregon terrain. You will see mountain goats, alpine forests and lakes, and wildflowers, and the summit offers sweeping views of the entire Strawberry Wilderness. Diamond Peak Summit is honestly one of my top five hikes in Oregon and by far my favorite summit. This underrated gem takes you along the Pacific Crest Trail. The views from up there are spectacular and my favorite in the area. Lancelot Lake can be visited by taking the Sisters Mirror Lake Trail past Mirror Lake and over to a series of small ponds and lakes. Lancelot has deep blue waters and a small rise above the lake that you can camp on. Stanley Cabin is located in the Wallawas in eastern Oregon and can be accessed a few different ways. This route via Moss Springs Trailhead takes you along the Little Minam and then the main Minam River and up the Bear Minam Trail through insane wildflower displays and up to Stanley Cabin, where you can enjoy setting up camp among the small alpine trees. Eagle Cap Summit, in my opinion, has one of the best views in the entire state. The shortest access point is from Tupan Trailhead, and the trail takes you up the East Lostine Trail and meets up with the Eagle Cap Summit Trail. The summit has views of the entire Wallawa mountain range, and you will not want to leave, guaranteed. And because I couldn't leave this one out, I had to include a bonus hike, and that is the Three Sisters Loop. This loop can be done from many different trailheads, and you can add or subtract miles from the route depending on side trips that you take. This is an amazing backpacking excursion and one that every hiker in Oregon should put on their bucket list. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding any of these hikes, please comment them down below. And I would love to hear what your favorite hikes are in this amazing state of Oregon. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you 
on the next adventure.